we have it totally homes. under control. We have lost One person nobody. coming in from China. We think we have it very well under control. We pretty much Press shut it down. Coming in from China. You know, in April, supposedly it dies with the hotter weather. When it gets warm, uh, historically that has been able to kill the virus. People are getting better. We're all getting better. And the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear and you'll be fine. Uh, they're going to have vaccines, I think, relatively soon. Not only the vaccines, but the therapies. Therapies is sort of another word for cure. We're talking about very small numbers in the United States. Our numbers are lower than just about anybody. It's really working out. A lot of good things are going to happen. And we are responding with great speed and professionalism. It's going to go away. Yeah, no, I don't take responsibility at all. We're going to all be great. We're going to be so good. This came up, it, it, it came up so suddenly. This is a pandemic. I felt it was a pandemic long before it was called a pandemic. All you had to do is look Two years, countries. President Trump the left us without the team that's supposed you know that. to manage pandemics. Now, you know what that and means? It means that hope. there were there were about we 40 people in the White House, led by an admiral, country. who was an MD, an admiral who's also a doctor. We early, His job we was to early. survey the world and look around for that. potential we illness outbreaks, to look around for potential pandemics. It might have been SARS. It might have been Ebola. It might have been uh, resurgence of polio. It might have been any number of things. His job at the White House, we're a rich enough country, we can do this, and we do it to protect. We care about the world. We protect our own people, though, as we see. If we don't, we see what happened. His job was to continue to look around the world and look out for these kind of pandemics. The president fired him. The president re fired the whole office. The president's never replaced it. I sent him a letter at a time uh, more than 600 days ago, back in May of 2018, telling him to stop dismantling our health care infrastructure. Now we're all paying the price for President Trump's decision. We see the real-time consequences. This was unilateral disarmament. We disarmed. We unilaterally disarmed against the world's infectious diseases. We, we know that international tuberculosis is a problem. We know that we know that, that international HIV AIDS is a problem. We know that international malaria is a problem. We work against those. And you know what? When I think about one of the things I'm proudest about in our country is what we've done about public health. We led the charge to eradicate smallpox. Smallpox killed hundreds of millions of people over time in this world. Hundreds of millions. We led the charge to eradicate smallpox. This country did. Then we led the charge to eradicate polio all over the world. We have a president and we have a Senate majority leader that simply aren't. They, they, they dismantled, they did all they could to dismantle the Centers for Disease Control and NIH. They left us prepared when the president fired the global security team at the White House that looked out for illnesses. And now, what? We have a global pandemic on our hands. President Trump needs to stop pretending he can lock out a disease by putting up walls at the border that he's already allowed to spread and start making up. He needs to start making up for all the lost time he's wasted. And so does Senator McConnell.